Mars. In the previous lesson, we learned about two cerebral hemispheres corresponding to our hands. In this lesson, we will learn about five brain lobes. Each of our hands have five fingers and they are all closely related to our five brain lobes. We know that the distribution of nerve cell density in different regions will give us different reactions in our life, thus, the distribution of neurons on each of the five brain lobes per human will be different and it shows the personality of each people. At first, we will learn about the five brain lobes, let's look at our five fingers. First is thumb, two thumbs will show the prefrontal lobe area. The prefrontal lobe area will show the function of administration and awareness, the ability to create your personalities and emotions. The frontal lobe is known as a captain to direct our body and behavior. Where do we want to drive the ship to, the captain will firstly give you the direction. This frontal lobe plays such a huge role in awareness and administration, Second is index finger, these two index fingers are close to the two thumbs that means the frontal lobes very close to the prefrontal lobe and in biology, we are used to pairing these two lobes together with the name frontal lobe. Biologically, there are only four lobes, but when analyzing the potential, we have to analyze five lobes for more clearly about the potential of human. Hence, if two thumbs are cognitive in nature, then two index fingers will be more in favor of thinking. The frontal lobe is related to the ability to analyze language structure and spatial thinking. Our middle fingers will show the parietal lobe in the middle. In some movies, we can see if someone hit a person on the top of the head, he will be temporarily paralyzed because it directly affects his parietal lobe. Thus, the parietal lobe in the middle keeps an important function in coordinating the action and which lobe will receive sound information that we hear. It is the temporal lobe, it will receive all sound information of the auditory, it's concerned to the two ring fingers. Thus, these two fingers will correspond to the temporal lobe area to assume the function of hearing. Another lobe receives visual information that is the occipital lobe right after our eyes. It corresponds to the two little fingers taking on the visual function. In short, there are five brain lobes that will be responsible for five different functional areas. Function of awareness, function of thinking, function of movement, function of sound and image. Having good understanding about the five brain lobes help us to understand more clearly about human potential. Someone have more cells in prefrontal lobe and frontal lobe area, the speed of processing and receiving information will be more sensitive. On the contrary, if they focus more on parietal lobe, they tend to like more activities. There are people who just like to stay alone in a place but have PE. When we are excited we will enjoy doing it more. Any people can listen to music, but only some of them can feel the beat, enjoy and understand this song. The temporal lobe is extremely sensitive here or there are people who are very polished in terms of image but there are people who are not. In general, the brain cell distribution in which area will show our behavior, we will tend to receive more information and react corresponding to that region. And the distribution is different for each person event though everyone has five brain lobes in terms of structure. With this information, we hope to give you more clearly about the five brain lobes as well as the function of five lobes.